in this video I'll be showing you how to restore your Redmi Note 9 Pro just in the event that you break the phone or you're stuck on the Redmi screen maybe you was trying to flash a custom firmware and it's stuck in a loop I'll show you what to do first I'm gonna power off the phone just hold on the button until it goes off Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold, you see it automatically come back on because it actually stuck in a boot loop basically. So what I'm going to do as soon as I turn it off, I'm going to hold the volume down button so it can actually go into recovery mode. Power off, grab the recover volume down. Okay, so now we're in recovery mode, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect my USB to the phone, and you can get connect. So what you wanna do, you wanna look for the the original ROM that came with your phone. So I'm, as I said, I'm using the Redmi. So I wanna look for the me flash the me flash tool download here all version I want to get the portable version because I don't want to really install no file so I've already downloaded but here once you download it you want to go to your C drive and you want to extract it in your C drive so as you can see here I have it extracted it's right here now you want to go and find the firmware for your phone so mine is redmi and the best thing to do if you know the um the version of the android software your phone was using before and the model number that would be good help so basically my own model ending with uh let me see this link all right you can see the different model so basically I'm running version 12 of Android so I'm gonna look for it here this is the version I'm running 12.5.5.0 RJ ZMIXM. So, what you want to look for, you want to get the fast boot file, not the recovery, the fast boot file. You're going to download it. Once it finished downloading, you're going to extract that file and you're going to paste it in your C drive also. As you can see, I have it right here in my C drive. Now, you're going to go in the Me Tool Flasher. I'm gonna run it as admin yes and let me just clear here if your phone is already rooted sorry if your phone is already unlocked you want to keep it unlocked you gotta select clean all down here on the app once you launch it you want to select clean all because if you leave it clean all and lock it will automatically lock back the phone and then you have to re-unlock it and configuration let me just check configuration you want to make sure no information in this page if there is any information here you can also delete it uh, refresh as you can see my phone is detected now I'm gonna go select and I'm gonna go to my C drive this PC Windows C drive and I'm gonna select my image and hit OK now I want to hit flash as you can see the flashing process has begun and whenever it finish flashing the phone will automatically restart okay so as you can see 
the phone starting to reboot I had to run the software over and one mistake that I made I forgot to uncheck clean all and lock so basically my bootloader is actually locked and <laughs> I can always unlock it because before I already got it unlocked so it's just connected back to the app and without inserting the sim card just log in and just unlock and it will allow me to re-unlock it again you can actually stop the flash software because the process has been completed phone up and running so I'm gonna go back to about phone so you always want to make note of your phone version so in the event you try to root your phone and it get break you know exactly what to look for so you can download the actual correct ROM so I'm gonna go developer setting And as you can see, uh, status, the phone is locked. I had it unlocked before, but because I did not uncheck that option, it relocked the phone. So I'm going to enable USB debugging. Okay. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more content like this.